Hey, it's Ocean. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to take a look at something I've been waiting for for a while now. It is called the Windbrook Safe File, created by a creator named Windbrook. And I am absolutely excited to show you all this safe file today. It's the realism, the families, and the way that it just captures the heart of the creator's hometown in Michigan that literally gives me those good Midwest vibes that I highly resonate with. And I cannot wait to show you all. Before we jump in, I'd like to add that this safe all focuses on Willow Creek for now. So Willow Creek has new families, new homes. It's been completely gutted. It has been made from scratch and redone, and it looks absolutely amazing. And one more thing I'd like to add is that this safe file also is not complete. So every world is completely blank because it was built on the foundation of the seriously blank saves. So all of the worlds have nothing on them, giving the creator full just access to do whatever they want to it um, when they are ready. So I totally look forward to the rest of the worlds being done and I'm so excited to see that. Everything is literally so realistic. We have a fitness center, convenience store, a laundromat, and also a diner. All the families have very unique stories to them and they all look very different and I really really love and appreciate that so this family right here is called the Leonard family Natasha puts the fab and fabulous and so does her three daughters Shantae Brianna and Tamika Natasha's stylist career came to a screeching halt after her late husband was eaten by a cow plant she ran out of savings so she had to pack up her girls and move them to Winden oh Winbrook she's not letting anything stop her though she's back writing for her fashion blog and her girls are doing swell speaking of swell Shantae is hoping to make it big as a video game streamer if you notice, all of these lots have a very Midwest vibe to them. They feel real. You have cars on the side of the sidewalk. Everything just feels so real. And that's what captivated me with this save file. I was just so impressed with the usage of the space and this world. I was wishing that these were three separate lots. How the creator managed to make this three different homes, I'm just floored. Look at how real these houses look. They all have their own personalities. And although the creator um, is from Michigan and it's Midwest inspired, I see this and where I'm from. So it just, it really resonates with my spirit. And I love that we have a new gardening area over here. We also have this little park here, which I love because um, I'm used to seeing parks with the tulips and the blue and pink flowers and everything looks fun and friendly. But sometimes there are parks that are just swing sets and vending machines, you know? Like I love this take on a very simple park on this lot. We have a chess table with no chairs. Like I'm obsessed with this. Placing my eyes back here on the Leonard household. This is actually a townhouse. So we have three bedrooms, one, two, three, and this townhouse, and it looks so realistic, you all. It is so well done. I mean, the tiles in The Sims 4 can kind of throw off realistic builds, but this literally feels so real and you still have space what's awesome is if you go upstairs you see the other part of the house which is the um, neighbor and i love this because look at how spacious this is i grew up in a townhouse so i really appreciate that attention to detail we even have balconies on the back hey shantae's jamming okay <laughs> let me turn this off just for a second so shantae is a high school student um and she only has a relationship with her family members which is okay the amount of time and dedication that it took to build this i'm okay with them only knowing each other and i'll do the rest i'll play 
play it up, you know, like I'm cool with that. I love that this single mother has a beautiful home and she's flourishing with her kids. Now, according to the story, she works as a stylist and yes, she also works as a stylist here. She is a rag reviewer. So everything is pretty much um, set in stone. And we do have these streaming supplies for the oldest here, Shantae. I had to check out this lot, had to, because there are three homes, right? First, we have an empty house, which, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this house. <laughs> I am in love with it. Can we just turn on all the lights here? <gasps> Oh gosh, I just want to move someone in. You have three bedrooms up here. No, four actually. Four bedrooms. And then the house next to us. Oh, look at the little panel walls. I grew up with panel walls. There is a photo by the stairs of Pamela and Cameron. So obviously they must live here. I think they all live here, but I just think the other house is just furnished. Oh my goodness, look at this lighting. I love how nothing's overly cluttered and it's just realistically furnished. I don't know who lives here. Can't be dad. I feel like dad lives with them i really appreciate that this is not overly furnished like look at this bathroom i would have never thought to use like the um big cabinets for like a little bathroom thing oh my i can't even get my words out this one has me stunned <laughs> the sim actually cannot go into this lot so this is someone else's house <laughs> that you can essentially make it for i love it so actually this family is going to stay in their lot and you can add other sims here but it just looks like they have neighbors and it's kind of cool so we checked out the schroeder family we might might be here all day if I check out all of these families, but I think I want to check out this family here that lives at 3341 Riverside Drive. Wow. Just wow. You come on this side of Willow Creek and it literally just feels like a totally different vibe. I love this little 80s, 90s style home. Like, oh my gosh. Look at this little house right here. Oh my gosh, with the rainbow flag. We have the bike. We have some trash here. Oh my God, it's so good and realistic. I am thoroughly impressed. This gives me Life is Strange vibes and you all know I'm all about that Life is Strange vibe. I went through my little phase with my current households where I literally just had this Life is Strange essence and this is bringing me back. I am pretty sure this house has kids because look at their gnarly backyard with the <laughs> play area here, the movie area, I mean, and just, oh my gosh, everything's just full of personality. It feels like real people live here. I mean, come on. This is amazing. We can't even go here and swim because <laughs> it is freezing cold outside. But literally, it looks so real. And I love this. Oh, my God. This is crazy insane how good this is. I'm sorry. I just found my new favorite save file and look at the lighting. Yes, someone that turns the lights off in their, <laughs> in their homes. I love this, the bathroom. Like all the lighting is kind of already set for each family. Oh, look at the daughter. So this is Lexi and Lexi um, is uh, cool with her family. Again, no extended relationships, but they'll make that. This is proof that less is more. Like look at her room. Like you could honestly change this into whatever you want. Um, obviously give credit because if you do use this I know the creator would appreciate you all like really showing a lot of love and spreading that because look at how well done this is it's not super duper cluttered and so easy to play in like look at this oh look at the steps the use of the platforms we have an office here this makes you really appreciate the in-game lighting we're going to check out some of the other families and I really can't wait to check out the Autumn Ridge townhomes because it literally looks like something that is near me but I'll save that for the end right now I do want to kind of shift focus and go to one of the community lots specifically Windenbrook Credit Union one thing you'll notice as far as community lots are concerned everything looks super duper realistic I mean this is what life is like I love how this is actually a bank with a little drive-through window right here this bank is functional if you use the SMB um, bank mod I've used that before it's super awesome and I'm considering about putting it back in just because I already have a bank here <laughs> so I kind of want to use this if you do use the SMB bank mod like I am pretty sure you will find appreciation for this lot and it looks like a real bank. So I know we see some buses here and it kind of looks like a school. It is actually deemed as a recreation center. We have some vending machines. This gives me heavy Sims 2 vibes. Look at the gym, it's carpeted. <laughs> we have some clothes here. It's, it's so messy. It's like an old recreation center. There is a cupcake maker here. Oh, that's awesome because I never use this thing 
at all because I refuse to find it. I think you have to unlock it, don't you? That's how much I don't use it. Anyway, there's a fun, cool hangout area with some old computers and old toys and bins. And we have a huge TV. Oh my gosh, y'all remember the thick, big TVs? Like, come on, scream. Like, let's all raise your hands if you've had a big TV like this in your house. And the beanbag chairs, it definitely looks like a really cool hangout. And we have some board games, like Don't Wake the Llama here. And this just looks like a really fun recreational area, very simple. We have a music room, which is super awesome and this really just feels like a really fun collective place for all sims of all ages to go i mean if you don't own these items just come down to the recreation center especially look at this look at this it's like a little paint art area oh look at all the crafts <laughs> this looks so cute it really makes you wish that you could like even use this stuff on the table but it's just decor and look at the little painting thing you can do some woodworking here oh i love how they put this up here because it's a woodworking table so what if someone made that we have some photos and then and what looks like storage area wow this is so well done this creator has a amazing eye for the items in the game we are now at the library i want to check this out next because i'm thinking to myself all the lots are pr pretty realistic and simple and i wanted to know if the library was the same and which it is a oh, library with carpet I love, do you all just remember, libraries used to have carpet, well, I don't even know if it's like a used to thing, but the library that I have near me has carpet, like it's fully carpeted, and I love that, like we don't always need hardwood floors, love how we have the baby changing station in the bathroom, very nice, and look at the kids area, it's so cute, oh, it's precious, they have like a gaming table, and then they have the little dollhouse. Oh, this is perfect. I love the kid area because you can paint, make friendship bracelets. You can play these little, uh, the Don't Wake the Llama game. You can play with the dollhouse. Kids have other things to do than just read books here. <laughs> and that's awesome. And then what is this? Oh, this is a little like vending machine area. I love how there's so many vending machines everywhere. All right, so this is the vet clinic. And I am just going to come in here and oh my gosh, I love how boring it looks. Now this is a vet clinic. No, seriously, this is a vet clinic. Gray boring walls, a receptionist desk, the most boring decorations you've ever seen, but everything looks so clean. A lot of the clinics near me that are veterinarian clinics are very small. They don't look like hospitals. And so I really appreciate this. I love small builds. And then we also have little things for the dogs to do outside here. Ooh, look at all this. In winter, I have to say, the winter gives this save the vibes that I'm really, really loving. Like, I am adoring the vibes here. It is the evening time, and I think I want my mama here to just go over to the diner. So, this is just an empty shell, but it adds to the vibes, to the aesthetic. And look at the little diner. I love it. It has carpet. It kind of reminds me of Golden Corral because Golden Corral would have carpet. Y'all remember those days? I do not eat at Golden Corral anymore. Oh, I can see why mama is mad because, uh, you, girl, let's get it together. Don't embarrass me now. Okay. Y'all can sit there and play. I'm going to go get myself something to eat. Look at how cute this diner is. I know. You're thinking, cute. Cute. Like, it's, it's stained. It looks like you should probably not eat the food. They don't wear gloves. Like, but I love it. I love it. So now I am in another household and I'm waiting for this family to wake up. Looks like everyone is awake. And, oh man, lost her toy really early in the morning. So I'm on this lot where the family had the amazing backyard for the kids. Like, it was just decked out for the kids. And, of course, because they have, like, four kids, they have, like, two sets of twins. Or I don't know if they're twins, but they are you know, they look similar. Um, they look like twins to me. But look at their little house. I wanted to come in here because I actually wanted to visit some more lots during the daytime, get that daytime lighting back, and uh, eating dirt is unhealthy. But I love their house so much. Honestly, it's a three-bedroom, huge bathroom. I cannot build like this, but this really inspires me. Like, Winbrook, you have inspired me to just try and follow my heart and get better at building because this is awesome. I really want to check out this part of Willow Creek because it just looks so beautiful and I just wanted to see it in the morning. This is Mr. Uh, Adan Bustos. I just picked a random, random family to visit this convenience store with. Check out the inside. You all, I am floored, okay? There's a little like barista station here you can hire a vendor for. Um, and I, I just think it's so cool. We have a chef station here because you know some convenience stores sell like hot dogs and wings and stuff. We even have a little manager's office with a little bathroom. But look at everything. And look, it's like the little fridges for the drinks. 
I can't believe it. This is amazing for storytellers. I mean, truly, this is really something special. You do not need custom content for this safe out. However, this is the only piece of custom content that the creator has used. But if you choose not to download that for the safe out, then it will just probably not have anything here. But you can actually play arcade games on this little, um, what's it called? What are these things called? I feel like I'm so slow. What are these called? These little arcade games. This it's called something but there's like a little one because we have a really big one in game which is so weird wash and dry laundry mat okay let's get it let's see what this looks like i love how this just looks so real and old and there's a vending machine out here have you all watched that um episode of shameless where fiona oh man it took his money <laughs> typical old vending machine but she had a laundry mat Fiona owned like one of the laundromats. It kind of looks like this a little bit. And it just gives me those vibes. Like I just remember her running the laundromat and it was very old and ran down. And I love the paneling on the walls. And gosh, the attention to detail is amazing. I actually would probably wash my clothes here. More arcade games. Yes. You can sit and chill and wait for your uh, <laughs> wait for your laundry to be done. Now we are at the Viking Fitness Center. And at first it looked like an auto mechanic shop. I was like, hmm, what are these cars doing out here in the little garage? <laughs> but if we come inside our second floor here, we have some of the sparring machines for the military, which is great for him because he is in the uh, athletic career. And we also, coming down here, have a nice big gym. And I love this simple gym. Definitely not modern, it's just a good old fashion gym you know get your gains in bro like this is just so simple and cute and the way she is sitting over here makes her look like she is really a receptionist here i'm kind of living for that this is the last community lot i want to show you all today this is actually a pool lot and i love this because in my hometown it's very simple like the pools are very straightforward and it's nothing special and cute and fun like what i play with in the sims <laughs> and i love it i love all the trash and the stained floors and i love how simple this is like you just get in and get in the pool there and there aren't any like umbrellas here there's a couple of chairs and um, towels there is a jungle gym a swing a little area for you to have a little barbecue or picnic this actually isn't anything it's one of those empty shells oh that is so nice i love it it looks like where they keep like certain storage stuff for the pools um but in the inside you can come in here and take a shower a quick shower in here we have the standing showers which is quite realistic and it's so bland and boring and it's not cluttered and i freaking love it so we saw most of the safe all together, but you all know that I love to leave everything else up to you just in case you wanna check it out yourself. But I do wanna check out two more lots here. I want to check out this Autumn Ridge Town home and also this empty home on 3352 Maple Drive. You cannot tell me that this lot does not look like real life. Like it looks insanely real, doesn't it? I love it. It's actually like townhomes. This is completely empty and this is completely empty. So you don't have to feel super overwhelmed. Like, oh my gosh, like what's going on? This totally looks like a place where you just live with your friends. So it's the four of them. I don't know what she got into with the land grabs, but it must have been something serious. But here they have a little streaming setup or a gaming area, some boxes. They have their console, a very small eating area and a very tiny kitchen. And then upstairs, we have the bedrooms. And again, can we appreciate the Sims lighting? I mean, we have to appreciate the Sims lighting. So here is, um, I don't know whose room is whose. Oh, okay, so Weston and Timothy are in this bed and then Stacy and Clinton are in this bed. So they are like two couples living together. I kind of vibe with it. I like it, that's adorable. <laughs> I like it. Look at this TV console, like setup closet thing going on here. It looks so good, you all. Like I cannot, look at this closet excuse me this little small town home on the end is so realistic you have no idea <laughs> and what's really cool is again like these are platforms i believe and yeah they're platforms so you don't have to worry about like everything kind of looking too together and you can play this household out and it feels so cool now i would have loved one more family here but that kind of gets kind of like 
you know, if you just want to focus on this family, this idea is really good, but I love it because it makes you feel like you're really living in a townhome complex. And before I leave you for the day, I do want to check out 3352 Maple Drive. I think this home is so cute and charming and there is no one that lives here. So you could just move your sim in here. You would have to use free real estate cheats on though because I think it's about 47K. Normally, if a safe file does not come with starters, I'm always like, boohoo, like I don't like this, cry me a river. I don't care. I will move my sim in here as is or I will delete the furniture. Everything about this safe file is perfect and I have no complaints. Look at the wall beams. Do you see the dedication? I mean, it is so lovely. I love it. You have a nice sized living room. You have a beautiful kitchen. Like I want to move in here today. I knew it was not going to disappoint. Look, you have two big bedrooms. Oh, and my favorite eco lifestyle floors. I, I just, I love those floors so much. And then downstairs, oh my gosh, look at this big basement with the paneling. Oh my gosh, I want a car. <laughs> It is so realistic, it's not even funny. I will scream at how realistic this is. So I think I'm definitely probably going to call this house mine when I go and play in this save file. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I just wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to Winbrook. Thank you so much if you're watching this video um, for making this save file and sharing it with us. I feel like this is such a personal save. I feel like this is real life that I'm playing and it's so nice to have a piece of your hometown and my game. I am truly so thankful and I love all the families and homes homes like thank you thank you thank you it is so beautiful and i cannot wait for more and if you all enjoyed this and you want to download it the link will be down in the description below and there's also instructions on how to install save files in that link as well if you are unsure but i am absolutely floored i'm gonna go play now and i hope you all enjoy your day if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you in the next one all right peace out